drag it off. Okay. I haven't ran since I was 17 and I'm 26 years old. I'm gonna start running a mile a day and I don't know how good that's gonna be. Guys, I'm literally like dancing on this back path. I just ran a mile in 12 minutes and 28 seconds and I didn't have to stop. And I'm so impressed with myself because I thought that I was gonna do like 20 minutes almost stopping, walking, like I thought it was gonna be really like that. 7.30, I'm actually really excited for my run today. Okay, so this is sort of embarrassing, but I decided I was gonna take measurements of myself because I wanna be able to actually like see the progress on paper. So I decided to measure. So around my waist, I, or sorry, yeah, my waist, my waist belly-ish area is 37.2. So my left arm was 13.7. And my right arm came out to 13.6. My right leg was 25.1 as well as my left leg. My butt was 34.3 and unfortunately I did forget to do my chest. So that's just the way it's going to have to be. I'm okay with that. Okay, this is the fit. This is from Old Navy. It says, need a lift. And then the shorts are from Ardennes. And yeah, let's go run. I lied, we're gonna stretch first. <laughs> Okay, I'm a tomato. I think my watch messed up. Um, that mile was 15 minutes. I'm calling it at 15. I ran way further than I did before. Um, and I ran all the way back. And it still wasn't even at a kilometer, which is less than a mile for people who don't know. So I think it screwed up because yesterday just running to the end was an actual mile. And I just ran like double, so maybe I ran two miles. I have no clue. I'm gonna look it up when I uh, get my computer here set up. But right now I'm drinking water. And in my water, I added, I literally get so red when I run. I added um, like a, let me show you. It's literally just like a little flavoring, but there's no dye in it. And it has sugar in it because I guess when you run, like your glucose levels drop. So I did that. I ate a little applesauce squeezy pouch. I'm gonna eat an apple because I'm gonna go to the gym and I really don't wanna go on like an empty, empty stomach. Um, so applesauce and an apple, that might not even be enough, but really there. I'm just gonna lift a little. I'm gonna stretch there and I'm gonna get a hydro, which is like hot water jets down your leg. Okay, so I've decided because my muscles are sore, we're gonna do a cold plunge. Okay, game plan. I'm gonna try to go butt first because I think if I go feet first, I'm gonna end up going slower than I want to. But I want to dunk my head. Do I have a towel in here? Okay. So scared. You can do it, 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 you can do it. <laughs> can I somehow? Get in, but first, okay, ready? I hated that. I don't feel euphoric at all. A three. 
let's get this. Okay, before I head out, I'm obviously gonna stretch. Um, but Brett picked me up a little running bag yesterday. Nothing special, it's just from the dollar store, but I kept on emptying out my Lulu and then everything would be like all over the kitchen. And then when I got back, I'd have to like reload my Lulu and do that every single day. So I'm just gonna show you what I pack in my running bag. In this little front zipper, I'm just gonna put tissues. And I've heard a lot of people say like, that's in case they have to pee on the trail. That better not happen to me, but like I'm packing them in case my nose starts to run. Next thing for the past three days that I've been bringing is a little Apisol squeezy pouch. This has sugar in it. It has, yeah, that's probably the only thing that's actually like necessary to my body right now when I'm running. And I bring raisins. And this is normally what I actually reach for when I'm running. If I feel, honestly, like I'm only doing a mile. So like, I don't need this whole like pack with me thing. But when I'm running, sometimes I get like unmotivated because I'm bored. And I find eating these distracts me from the fact that I'm just running. Something else that I have for my bag, and this might seem a little bit weird, but I have some salt and it's because I have really low blood pressure and I haven't needed it yet when I'm running, but sometimes when I'm hiking, my blood pressure drops. I get very sick very fast and um, I need literal salt. So just to be safe, because I'm assuming after I run a mile for 30 days that I'm going to want to run further than a mile because um, that's already in my head but I have salt just to prepare myself and then I also carry some chapstick this is just Burt's Bees in Sweet Mandarin pretty good but I think I'm gonna try running with my beats on today so I'll let you know how that goes I'm really scared to switch the headphones because I'm like what if they fall off my head but I'm thinking the beats because my airpods aren't noise canceling they're just the first gen that these will help a little bit more Okay, I figured out what happened yesterday. Um, so, basically I've been looking at my heart rate instead of my miles. So I was seeing 180 and my watch is in kilometers so I run like the extra to make it the mile. So it looks like it's almost a kilometer but really it's just my heart rate. So that's why yesterday I ran for 15 minutes and then I ended up running way over a mile. And today I ran 0.5 over a mile. So I only ran for 13 minutes. Um, but I'm glad we know that because tomorrow I definitely will not be making that mistake again. But today was easier. I'm very proud of myself. Like really proud of myself. It felt so much easier. All right, there she is. We're having uh, scrambled eggs and sriracha, half an orange, and peanut butter banana toast with chia seeds. If anyone has any suggestions of what to eat after a run, let me know, because I don't know. But this looks balanced to me, so. Okay, this is the fit. It's an oversized Gymshark t-shirt. It says Gymshark on the back as well. Mm, there we go, yeah. With these Gymshark biker shorts and a Gymshark sports bra. So that's that. Here's the deal. It is currently about 30 degrees out. And that's insane. 30 degrees is insane because it's 6.30 in the morning right now. So I'm gonna run at the gym because in about an hour, it's supposed to feel like 40 out and uh, I'm just not about, you know, dying. So we're gonna try to run at the gym. I have never run a mile at the gym on the treadmill. <laughs> Zoom my cows. So that's what we're gonna do. Wish me luck. I'll take you with me. <laughs> vlog today because like I feel like the vlog's running too long but I just had a new PR and it's 1222. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Alright it is day whatever is popping up on the bottom of the screen right now. 
This is the fit. I ran for a while just in the gym because we've had some rainstorms. But today, she's not raining and I am going outside. So, just wearing a Gymshark set. Also, I feel like this set, normally I look really like way more pudgy in. So, hopefully that's a sign that these runs are working. But also, maybe I'm just not bloated yet. <laughs> Because also my belly is very flat. So we shall see. It doesn't matter. It's totally okay. I just took a little bit of honey. And now I have honey on my belly right here. Because it was on my finger. So hopefully I don't get any bugs. But let's go run. We're in Halifax. But we still have to come get the mile in at the gym. <laughs> Okay, here is the fit. The other day I ran three kilometers, which is whatever is showing up on the screen right now. Um, it is currently 37 degrees outside, but I don't feel like going all the way to the gym. So I'm gonna go for a run outside, which is absolutely insane. So here's what we've done. I have dug out my water bag from Mech. I usually use this for hiking. And I'm going to fill that with water, obviously. Well, I'm not going to fill it because why would I fill it? And I saw this hack on TikTok where if you put it upside down and suck all the air out, then when you put it right side up, it won't jiggle. Like you won't hear swish, swish, swish. So that's what we're doing. And then I guess I can put my little applesauce things in here. But that's pretty much all I'm going to bring. So before I hear, you don't need a water bag and all this stuff for your one mile yeah, I do. It's literally 37 degrees outside. I need water. And I don't want to carry a water bottle. Also, because I ran three yesterday, maybe I'll run more. So I just want to prepare myself. I doubt I'll run more, but yes. I'm getting ready for this to be such a sensory nightmare. <laughs> it's fine. It never bugs me when I uh, hike, but still. Another thing that I've acquired is a shave stick. And to tell you that this is one of the best things I have ever bought in my whole entire life would be an understatement. This thing is a miracle worker. So, highly recommend. Okay. Oh, it's not my smartest idea. But I didn't break 12. Um, well, no, I got 12. That's what I mean. I didn't break into 13. Um, I haven't gotten an 11 minute mile yet. So I feel like it's because I keep doing stupid stuff like this. It was like 37 degrees and I'm like, let's run outside, it'll be a nice tan. No, it is not fun. And I should have gone to the gym, but you know what? I have ice water. I have a Rich crispy treat, I haven't eaten it yet, but I might. Oh, and I'm looking at this hill. At least my time is done so I can walk up it, but oh my gosh. She's daunting right now. Okay, I ran in the morning when it was colder out. I got 11.06. So the other day when I said I couldn't even break through the 12, getting like 12.30, I just shaved my time by almost a minute and a half. That's, I'm so proud of myself right now. Anyways, <laughs> I need a call bread. I've been sitting here waiting for my Apple Watch to charge. And over that time, I've become less and less motivated to go on my run. So I finally just got the courage to just get up off the couch and grab my Apple Watch. It's probably charged enough for it's literally a mile. I don't need it that charged. And just go. Oh, it's halfway charged. That's how lazy I've been. Anyways, well, let's get this. Okay, we're back. It's been a little while. I've turned gluten free, which I'm actually a little bit contributing towards our, my tummy bloat. But, here's what I look like before, before I take my measurements. Compared to last time. Here's what I look like now. 
I literally have ab lines. This is the body. <laughs> I also love running, which is like such a surprise, but okay, what are we gonna do first? I forget what I did first last time. I'm gonna do my belly because I'm excited about that. So my belly is 34.5. 13. It's also 13. I'm gonna do the widest part of my thigh. I'm pretty sure that's what I did last time. Looks like my bum is Overall, I feel great. I encourage you guys to get out and run. Don't mind the way I look right now. <laughs> but thank you for coming along this adventure with me. Comment down below any more challenges that you have for me to do. And I'll see you guys next time.